the Think Kitten Studio. Today I'm going to make an interesting and simple snack. You can use it as a patty to serve with some chutney or homemade ketchup. You can use it as a burger patty. You can even serve it as a starter. And the best part about it is it's only full of goodness. Uh, we're going to be using sprouts. Sprouts are the most nutrient dense foods we can eat. Uh, so here are moong sprouts. Instead of moong sprouts, you can also use azuki beans or any other or dals that you have sprouted. Uh, we're going to be adding cabbage which is grated. We're going to be adding uh, carrots which are grated. Feel free to use other vegetables also. Uh, if you see this is actually a grain free patty. We're not even going to be using breadcrumbs to roll the patty in. So the idea is to get in as many vegetables as possible in this. And especially when we have kids who are picky eaters, when you put everything together in a form of a bun and you even make it like into a roll or a burger, they can't really tell what's inside. So just easy ways to sneak in veggies. Uh, Instead of uh, kothmir which we are using today, instead of coriander, you can use spinach, you can use any other greens which are not very strong tasting. So you wouldn't use a methi, uh, but you could use any other greens. Uh, mint also would work, basil would work or a combination of spinach with other greens. Uh, for binding, we are going to be using a potato and you might wonder why I have left the skin on. So all the produce here is organic and when you eat organic produce, you don't have to take off the skins. In fact, uh, potato when eaten with the skin is actually not just carb because nature has given everything in a complete form. So whether you're a diabetic or just someone who wants to eat the healthy carbs, please include the skin of the potato. Uh, try and buy organic produce so you can include the skin. And so here I'm going to use this and mash it with the skin and add it to our patty. Uh, so the sprouts have been lightly steamed before and what we'll do is we'll just give it a buzz in the mixer so that it's easy to bind. So here's the lightly pulsed moong sprouts don't they look like quinoa or millet from a distance next goes in our cabbage carrots greens of your choice and for seasoning, we are going with the traditional Indian uh, spices, but feel free to use other spices as well. If you have changed your sprouts or if you have changed your greens, you can go accordingly. You can use Italian herbs, you can use cayenne pepper, whatever you like. Here we are using um, coriander powder, cumin powder and garam masala with haldi. And these go. A bit of salt. And a little bit of lemon juice. Now we're just mixing all of these together. This is one recipe you can really go adventurous with. Just take care that you keep the proportions in mind and then you can vary it. Instead of potato, you can use sweet potato as well. Um, you can use yam. Any root vegetable can be used to replace the potato and um, any other vegetables to replace the cabbage or the carrot. So this is all well mixed now and we are going to make patties out of this. Um, so at this stage, um, I like using my hands and I in fact feel that we should use our hands more often when we cook because I do believe a little bit of us goes into the food when we handle it with our hands directly. Uh, that's why they say maka hat ka khana. So we'll make patties out of this. We've added so many greens that they're gonna stick out. 
and in order to roast these we are not going to use bread crumbs you have two options you can use sesame seeds which are pre roasted or you could also use roasted peanuts after slightly crushing them what this does is it gives a coating which makes the patty crispy and also gives us the necessary fats and nutrients and the third benefit is that you don't require oil to roast these patties so we've rolled all our patties and we've coated them with roasted sesame seeds and we're now going to roast them on this pan this is a royal prestige square griddle and this pretty much can replace our uh, pan for rotis for patties for parathas uh, for burgers etc um, what is great is it's made out of surgical stainless steel uh, which means there are no toxins coming into our food and because it's thick things don't burn and we're going to directly without any oil roast these tikkis because they are coated with sesame seeds alternatively like i mentioned you can use a uh, peanut crushed peanuts as well after a few minutes we'll just turn these over actually pretty much everything in them are already cooked or can be eaten in a raw form uh, these are for just giving a nice crunchy feel to the patty and um, the sesame is anyway great for us to eat and little toast is, is even better uh, so enjoy these with some chutney or some ketchup uh, put them into your children's tiffin boxes serve them as starters or as patties or burgers for your family and friends enjoy and keep adding more vegetables in whatever you eat So if you like this recipe please share like and subscribe think kitchen and down to heart keep watching